Hey, welcome to the Digital Marketplace. In this one, we are gonna be talking about the requirements for this project. So this kind of assumes that you haven't worked with a lot of our stuff before. If you have, you can just skip this video. Now, if you haven't, what you need to do is go to joincfe.com slash projects and check out the Try Django 1.8 project. Go through all of that. Um, it is a free project that you can check out. And then um, you're gonna go through the digital marketplace right after that. There are some other projects that are recommended. Launch with Code is another one. If Try Django 1.8 is really challenging for you, definitely check out Launch with Code. That's another free one. And if you're still wanting more, e-commerce too and serve up membership these two are very comprehensive projects but that's a lot to go over prior to jump into the digital marketplace really if try jingle 1.8 works for you that speed and what we talk about the digital marketplace is going to work for you very well too um, and then when you go through try jingle 1.8 and of course that's going to be the first one that you go through you're going to actually need to install or set up your system so there's the system setup information right here on our website so system setup leaks is how you'll find that and again this is the url right here join cfe.com slash projects that'll actually redirect you to codingforentrepreneurs.com but that's a lot easier to remember and also to spell and if you don't want to do it on our website let's say for instance you want to use youtube this is a definitely another option that has a few of those projects that we just mentioned number one try jingle one eight is also on youtube um, and then also a launch with code is on YouTube. So those two projects are definitely something that you could check out. And then finally, the setup process is also on YouTube. Just another option to actually watch and get some of that free content and learn some of the basics of Django and what we're going to be teaching in this course. And then finally, we have a GitHub site that's made for reference code for while you're going through this project. So that means that if you ever get stuck with your code, check out GitHub first. A lot of times it might be something very simple that you may have missed. Trust me, I've missed these simple things thousands upon thousands of times. It's way too hard to count how many times I've missed very little things. And oftentimes having reference code makes all the difference there. And that's what GitHub's all about is seeing that reference code um, on in line and also exactly what we do in the courses themselves. And then finally, what we're gonna be using is Django version 1.8.6. That's the version we're going to be sticking with. Django version 1.8 is going to be around for several years. That means the Django developers are going to be supporting 1.8 for a very long time um, for security uh, purposes and all that. So if you if Django 1.9 is out or even 2.0, this course is still going to be very useful for you because it's still going to have support for it. Um, all right, so that's it as far as the requirements to getting set up. Um, what these actual system setup videos will go through is text editor stuff, setting up your system so Django even works. The version on those setup videos is not the version we're going to be in abusing, um, but it will at least show you how to actually get set up to get ready for this project. All right, so in the next one, we will actually talk about what we're going to be doing in this project, and then we will get started. See you in the next one.